morning everyone how are you <sighs> I feel so much better um last night oh yolk let's go with pink today okay I can get it around my fat snossy dry hand oh my god <sighs> okay um yeah, yesterday was kind of a little bit of a rough day. I got my booster and my flu shot in the same arm at the same time. It was a lot. I mean, I don't know about you guys. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. I forgot my intro. Hello. Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I am Joanna. Welcome to the channel. Hold on one minute. Microphone. <laughs> I had to lint brush her because she picks up more hair than 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 my dogs do anyway <clears throat> i had to say good morning i was so out of it yesterday oh i mean by about three or four in the afternoon i felt like putty you do you know when your body just feels like ugh like like putty like you could go like that and nothing happens it was horrible anyway um, it wasn't, I wasn't having any kind of a side effect or a bad reaction or anything to the, the, the shot. It was just the shot, you know? I mean, you're putting a lot of stuff in your body. And, um, so I hit the bed. I took a Tylenol PM. I curled up in my little bed with my little dogs. I slept with my Christmas lights on around the bed. Oh, by the way, have you guys seen the bed? Yeah, <laughs> bed's done. Um, I got the bedroom done and I'll do the rest of it probably tonight. Um, kind of hard to make a fire in your living room when it's like 70 degrees outside. We're not doing that. So, um, I, uh, We'll probably do it tonight. Plus, I'm hoping I'll be feeling better tonight because last night was like, ugh. Oh, but I did sleep so well and so hard. And um, I'm feeling so much better today. I feel like, oh, wait a minute. Woo! A little of this, a little like, you know. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Welcome on in if you haven't been here before. Um, if you would like to like and subscribe, I would like you to like and subscribe. And, uh, cause my husband says, you never say that. You never ask people to like and subscribe. And I'm like, well, they're not children. They know what they want to do. If they want to like, they can like. And if they want to subscribe, they can. Doesn't cost anything. You know, people are grown. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Anyway, it is Tuesday. We survived Monday. I cannot believe how close it is getting. I'm like, <gasps> December 7th. I am going to be hitting clearance racks this year. I don't know. I'm, I, I really, um, I still feel I got to I'm going to tell you honestly, I'm, I'm that girl, honest to a fault. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm a little nervous about shopping. Toffee coffee today. Got the shopper girl with clearance and the sale signs and all that. Hold on, let me see. I'll take a bigger sip. And I can tilt it. Isn't she cute? It's a sign. It's a sign I need to get my butt out there and start knocking a few things off of my list. Um, I just didn't want it to be crazy this year. And I don't want to have a conventional Christmas. I'm not doing the big table. Um, I am not doing, I mean, I, digging out the china and the flatware that can't go in the dishwasher and all that crap. I'm not doing any of that. It just makes, you know, it's the three of us. Um, we're not traveling. Oh, travel. Oh, God, you guys. You know, my husband's an aviator, right? Okay. Well, he knows stuff. I mean, he hears things on the street 
that people in aviation tell each other and don't necessarily uh, tell the public, <laughs> mostly out of fear <laughs> of death. Fear, pain, and death will definitely, you know, get your attention. But um, he's like, get up at 0 dark 30, get the early morning flight. It's the easiest thing to do. It's the best thing to do. So what, you'll sleep on the plane. You know, get up early, early, early. I don't care if you have to grab those kids out of bed in their jammies and drag them down to the airport. Get on those O Dark 30 flights because, you know, and be very, very wary of where you're traveling. Ugh, I still have the sniffles. I'm so sorry. It's kind of like I got a cold, but I didn't get a cold, you know. But um, do be careful. Do be careful in your travels uh, because I wish I had my, I lost my cheat sheet. You know, this is what happens to me all the time. I'll have to use the legend. A, 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 25. Anyway, uh, definitely mask up and please make sure those little babies of yours, those little tiny humans, you know, they're just going to go in and use that bathroom at the airplane and they're not going to think anything of it. And they're going to think, oh, it's the airplane, so it's clean. Make them wipe their hands with the Purell after they leave that door. And better yet, teach them how to use their shirt sleeve to open the door altogether. Um, <laughs> I am... A little weird like that. I have always been a shirt sleeve door opener. You know? I mean, you use the antibiotic soap. You clean your hands. Then you put the Purell on. Then you grab a door handle that God knows who has been on it. It's like, no, no, just, just pull your shirt or your hoodie or whatever around you and grab the door. <laughs> At least that's what I do. But anyway, I'm glad to uh, finally be getting a, a head start on things. And not a head start because, I, I mean, if you ask me, I'm way behind. Way behind. Um, but I didn't plan on having a, a booster or vaccination this time. And I, it doesn't bother me to do that. It's just I think that everybody has their own responsive issues. Like, you know, I mean, long-suffering husband in there, he'll, he gets a booster shot. He's so cute. He gets a booster shot and just boom. You know? I mean, Goes to walk in the dogs, go, goes, go, does grocery shopping, does, you know, puttering around. No big deal. No big deal. Me, oh man. I am down and out for like two straight solid days and it is horrible. I love doing the corners of these pages, but I gotta tell you, you know, they never come out straight. <laughs> They never do. Anyway, I'm hoping uh, today to get... Okay, here's where we are. We are on Magical Tree. Isn't she beautiful? I know. She's so pretty. It's by the McNeil Studio. New guy to me. Never did him before. There's no green anywhere in this canvas, which I'm like... Okay, I'm kind of tripped out about, but I can't wait. So I have uh, the top corner here done. It's a square, so I don't think it's going to take that long. Now, I did this top corner part already. These are the new drills. Hey, hey girl, hey. Are you paying attention? 
Yeah, they are beautiful. Diamond Art Club, you have upped your game. Oh, man. These new drills are so much prettier. And, um, but it's a square. It's 22 by 22. So I'm thinking I get, you know, two or three a day, and then I can square and square and square it out and work my way in the middle. I don't think it'll take that long. But what I am noticing, pardon the squeaky chair. I know he's annoying. I don't know what to do about him. He's very rude. He interrupts me all the time. I have got to get a good chair. I keep thinking I got the chair. And then, no, I don't got the chair. <sighs> it's just too much with the chair. But, um, anyway, he's really cute. So once I get through this first row... What I think I'm going to do is try the easel. I'm going to try to do it on the easel, which means I have to change the camera angle a little bit and, you know, give you guys a better view if you want one. But, um, yeah, I'm just, yeah. Christmas season is here. I don't know where. Where did 2021 go? Oh, my God. Are you feeling like I'm feeling? Because I'm, like, losing it. Where is 2021? What did we do with it? Because I don't have any signs of productivity at all. Except for this crazy diamond painting thing. Which I think has gotten me through it mentally. <laughs> I gotta tell you. But, you know, I do miss my coloring, too. And, uh... I got another notification about the dragon pencils. For those of you who do color. And are collecting the Black Widow pencils. Uh, those stupid things. <laughs> okay, I got on a pre-order list. Clearly, I was oversighted, overbumped, and I guess they were just giving them out to people who were, you know, higher up on the food chain so they could um, do a review on them, which I don't think is very fair. You know, I really don't. My money... I. <laughs> I spend as much money as anybody else on these things. Why do they have to get it early? I'm kind of a little jelly about that. Anyway, so I just said forget it. I, I, pulled, my, I pulled my name off the list. I'm like done. Now they say they might get them by January. Before it was like February 15th. I'm not happy at all. Um, Albert... You know, I love you more than my shoes, and I have done some beautiful things with Black Widows, but you know what? <sighs> You're not Louis Vuitton. You're not Chanel, and I'm not buying a Birkin bag, which, by the way, I went through less BS to get a Birkin bag than I did to get these stupid-ass pencils. So please, Albert, we're going to have to have a company meeting, you know? I love you, but I'm not happy about this situation at all. And on that note, <laughs> on that note, I'll go back to diamond painting. Because, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I, I can't. I can't fix anything right now. But anyway, uh, for those of you who have commented about the... Uh, the little room tour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a million times. And oh, he's in there doing dishes. Isn't that lovely? Let's not, let's not interrupt him. Um, thank you for the comments. And uh, I will get the rest of the house done ASAP. And uh, feel free to go back and look on former years. Because it all, the whole blue bedroom thing has been sort of evolving over about two years now. Next year will be a whole new deal. <laughs> I don't know what, but if it's not tied down, I'm going to decorate it. <laughs> and if it is tied down, I'll decorate it even more. So you know how that goes. You know how that goes. But anyway, uh, 
keep your heart open, give till it hurts, and um, enjoy all the love that uh, the season is bringing because it's going to be a very loving one, I feel. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it needs to be more about a community and less about politics and more about children and less about who their parents are. You know, so what? Why, why do children have to pay for their, you know, their parents' sins? It's ridiculous. And, um, oh, I got them. I got my copy cards. They're in my envelope over there. I got to go get them and put them in my bag. Um, every year I have a little thing I do. And you can do it too if you want to. Just, uh, why do I have cinnamon cupcake under my nail? Ew. Ew. Anyway, um, every year I go to Starbucks, you know, because my kid works there. And I will get um, a certain amount of gift cards. Now, I used to buy $5 coffee cards, but now with inflation and everything, I'm doing like a $10 card because um, five bucks just doesn't get you very much. <laughs> anyway, and I would hand them out to crossing guards or the lady at the checkout stand who looks so tired because she's been working like 85 double shifts and all of that. And, um, you know... <sighs> One guy just helped carry my cart back from the um, the thing one day at the store. I guess it was about two years ago. I still remember him. He was like, here, honey, let me take that cart for you. It was real windy. And uh, I was like, thank you so much. I had that, oh, God, what am I going to do? This cart's going to hit another car kind of look. He's like, here, let me take that for you. I was like, thank you so much. And I had the cards, and they were in my pocket, and I was at the ready, and I went, Oh, here, this is for you. Ah, Grown-ass man. Looked hard as steel. Cried like a child. I'm like, you know, it's just a copy card. Came back, gave me a quick hug. He said, made my day, girl. <laughs> and he had all watery eyes. It was so cute. Ah, oh. so do your copy cards. Make sure you hit the nurses and the um and the uh, um the doctors and all the people working in the medical industry. I like to just make a ton of chocolate strawberries and just show them up. And here, these for the second floor. <laughs> I don't usually give them to the first floor because that's radiology and I hate radiology. <laughs> I'm going to have all the radiology people coming for me now. I'm sorry, guys. You know how you are. You're always popping and poking and trying to turn me green. Anyway, uh, the coffee card thing works and you will feel like a million dollars in your heart just for doing it. So give it a try, okay? I'm going to hang up and work a little more on her so I can get some squares going and start seeing uh, uh, something happening. What is happening in there? I have to go check on this noise. He's left unsupervised again. Long-suffering husband, what are you doing? Oh, God, there's no response. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you. You're important. Shine on. Bye. Oh,